What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Eternal Darkness. Last episode, I was having issues killing this guy. This episode, we're also gonna probably have issues killing this guy. Let's start it, shall we? Ha ha ha! Oh, look at all the runes we have now. Holy crap! We almost have- we only need one more! Huh. Huh. Alright, let's try the one we haven't tried yet. Blue. Let's see if that does anything for us. Well, now you're stuck in there. Haha, <laughs> sucks to be you. Maybe it's because I was using- what? Maybe it's because I was using the blue spell. Maybe that's why I couldn't kill him before. Come on. Can't touch us, can you? Haha, <laughs> asshole. Because, I mean, he is now of green alignment. Because, you know, he was cursed as such. I think, right? I'm not entirely sure about that. Oh, crap! I expected the end. <laughs> oh, no, that's not the one I want to use. I must have all my magic back. That's great. <laughs> that was scary. I'm like, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. In my mind, you didn't hear it because it was in my mind. Hi! It's good big. Oh, he's stuck inside again. Great. Yay! Supposed to take a second to activate. No! Don't attack me! Keep walking into the wall. It's probably doing a lot more damage than me punching him. Maybe. Kind of hard to say, actually. Let's die. There we go! Is he dead? Please? Yes. Okay. That didn't work, I would've been really confused. Why am I praying for this one particular guy? Oh cool, I have his memories now. Then I know what happened. Do I get a sword, please? Ruby! The heck is this be- Yes! Yes, can I finish him? Let's try and see if we can put him out of his misery, but no, I just kinda wanna finish him actually. What? Yeah. Oh, poor dude. Oh, it's like a two-handed sword. It's like, why am I swinging that two-handed sword with one hand? That's freaking badass as hell. Yeah, I'll choose this one. Yes! Let's go kick some asshole butt! Let's go. I am prepared. Uh, I'm fine on both health and sanity. Although I could cast a shield spell. Why not, right? Yeah. Bangkok. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Whee! Let's have a little. I was gonna say sperms flying around me, but you know, that's really dumb. But I said it anyway, so. Yeah, get the hell out of here, sucker! Holy crap, I am freaking awesome! He didn't even see what was coming. <laughs> that was awesome. Why the heck wasn't I enchanting my crossbow, come to think of it? Bewildering array of books and tomes sorted neatly into a set of shelves, mostly books of a religious nature awaiting scholars such as Paul to peruse their twenties. So I am. Oh, yeah, I'm a scholar. Uh, Sheena music lies on the bookshelf. One wonders what it sounds like. Okay, so I can go back and play it. B I just saw B-A-B-A -B -A and all that on there. Is there anything else up here? Hmm, so it seems, seems some things have changed. Like these bookshelves weren't here before. There were desks up here before. The last time I was here. All right, there's nothing else. Stop being tired, Paul. Seriously, this is embarrassing. <laughs> is this the last one? Oh no, it's just a normal. It's a diary paper. I thought it was a rune. Uh, lying on the abandoned easel is a sheet of tattered paper covered with scrawls of ink. I found a diary page. <clears throat> diary of Brother Andrew. Page two. I suppose it is understandable that they will not show me the hand of Jude on such a little notice, but I must confess that the preparations they make are most unusual. No acts of consecration, no daily prayer or worship are demonstrated by the strange order. One wonders if they are holy at all, let alone being under the uh, aspicious of the Granite Perhaps it is by uh, navy. Na 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 of our faith, there are many practices associated with it, and they are they differ greatly from region to region. Perhaps it means is merely more eccentric than others. Perhaps your mom is more eccentric than others, huh? Am I right? Am I right? High five! High five! Okay, well that was incredibly obnoxious. Let's go down. Dude, can we stop being so tired? 
I hate having to walk everywhere. I know you're an old guy, but come on, dude. Let's get jiggy with it. Well, so I'm not, not going to need my, um, my enchanted sword. It was pretty freaking awesome just murdering that one guy. But I had like a two-handed sword at that point using the dude. Maybe I'm just so badass. This is a two-handed sword, but I'm just using it with one hand. Alright, freaking flies flying around my face. Uh, should Paul play the organ? Of course. A, B, Y, X, B, Y, A. That was beautiful. Oh boy, I suddenly am a pro. Oh, nice! But at the same time, this sucks. Well, not really. Not like I have to really make the spells myself. A five point spell, eh? Meh. Meh. Just wondering when these will come to play. The ter tabernacle is almost empty. There's none of the things that should be there, such as holy water and other ritualistic items. Only a circle of power laying on the lower shelf. How is holy water made? I don't know. <laughs> I, get, I just picture like a factory it being made by like really poor kids in like Africa or something. Um, Paul has acquired the five point, five point circle of power. Now each of the three point spells can be powered up using the power room. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. That's actually really neat. So it's just a power up, I guess. Huh. I only have three more things to collect, then it's game over. I wonder if that is any indication that we're getting to the end of the game, or if maybe not. Now what do I do? I mean... Do I not have the power rune? Let's, let's see our runes. Absorb... Oh, we don't know what this one is. We don't know what two of these are. Oh man, I hope that doesn't mean I missed something. That, that would suck. So now what? What does that do for me exactly? I mean, I don't have the power rune. Maybe I go down here for some strange reason? So, I mean, that doesn't really change anything because I don't have the power rune, right? Where the heck would I get a power rune from? Was this door locked before? No. Yeah, that was just this room. Well, I did appear to miss something in here before. I mean, not here, but I mean right here. I don't think I went this way before, did I? No, I did not. What the heck is this way? What's this? Is that a torch? Bellowing, bellow, or the bellows mechanism supplies the organ upstairs with air. It requires an expert hand and attention to keep it working on earth. Is that a torch? That might be a torch. What is it? Oh, it's a mace. Ah, oh, dude! Near the organ, a steel mace is mounted on the back wall by means of display armature. Well, that sucks. Oh, I can't believe I missed this. Weapon well, covered with spikes and flanges. The focus of force upon that focus force upon striking. The mace was effective against an enemy wearing chainmail. Although usually directed against the head, a mace uh, blow to the limb could break bones even if the armor was not pierced. Cool. Too bad. It's freaking useless to me now. Well, that been, would have been a lot helpful, more helpful if I got to- oh, There's more crossbow ammo! Dude! How many did I get? Five. I don't think it would have been enough to kill what's-his-face, but it still would have been nice. Uh, why cast keys for maturing wine? The wine inside, uh, this one must be very strong for it seeps through the cask, filling the air with a heavy aroma. That sounds amazing. Alright, where are you? No! I was gonna try and stop him! Cause I don't really care for this place right now. Alright, just purple power or not. And there we go. I don't understand the point of this. I mean, it adds a new dimension to the game. Well, I mean, it was really helpful at that one point before I have the healing spell. But now I don't really feel like it has any purpose to me. I didn't even see that zombie. By the time I know something, I'm like, you know what? Screw it, I don't need him. <laughs> I didn't even get hit by him. I thought this was like a scroll right there or something, but no, it doesn't appear to be. What's this? This is the same thing. Not gonna cast results on a hollow thud. It is empty, but why? Why are the others full? Should I pull open the barrel? Yes, I should. Ooh, girl! Mmm! Girl, mmm! 
Okay, is there nothing else here? Doesn't appear to be. I like to be thorough. I feel like there's bad things about that. Oh, what the heck? Oh, is that the the things in there? Uh, let's let's hang on a second here. Um, first off, we are gonna pretty much just kick this guy's butt. So let's get jiggy with that, shall we? Although that guy's blue, I wonder if my blue shield here will be much of an effect. See, the one thing I don't really know is like um, enchanting. When I enchant certain things, like it doesn't really seem to, to do much. I mean, no, I mean like what what differs with the enchants? The only difference I've noticed is I think when I use the blue enchants, uh, it causes the zombies to explode, which I don't understand why I'd want that, but because it hurts me. It hurts me. Dude, my voice, my voice, they got all scared, man. Okay, let's um, mix with this. I guess I kind of just press B to reload, but you know, I'm fat for that crap. Ow, you dingus! Did I hit him? Oh, that didn't even. Oh, it just dispelled all my shield, didn't it? Let's reload again. Did I kill him? Oh, I thought I killed him. That was amazing. Alright, come on. Can't touch his apple. Oh, he could, it just comes after me, anyways. Am I out? I'm out. Okay, well. It's wrecking face time! Let's go! Ow. Holy crap! Okay, it's not wrecking face time! It's not wrecking face time anymore! Let's go! Woo! Thankfully, you can't come through this large gap in the wall. <laughs> okay, well, actually, I kind of overreacted there. I did do have a lot of crap left. Well, not really. Alright, give me some more health. There we go. There we go. Now do I wait to get a shield? You know, maybe I should. I do notice he got rid of my entire shield in one hit, so let's try a red shield. This is kind of like experimenting time, actually. I don't know how much magic I require for this spell. Shields. Casts. Let's try. I believe the opposite of this is green. Maybe. Could also try uh, the damage move. I'm not going to, but it might be cool to try. Oh, yeah, see, I have two. I have one left. Haha, -ha, asshole. Oh, a sapphire. Yeah, the sapphire. I thought he had the rune. Or not the rune. The. Oh, the thing we're the thing they were saying they had to prepare for, you know. Let's examine this. Uh, there's a massive granite vault carved with uh, hideous bass re reliefs. What? Scratch marks running along the floor have made it appear the crypt has been moved many times. So essentially, there's a secret passage, a very badly hidden secret passage right there. Uh, hey, the alcoves of this manzel. Ma ma Mazulum <laughs> Leather raids of departed monks. Some have turned to dust, others have grotesquely withered, leaving husks of bone and leathery skin. That sounds really sexy. Um, do I. No? Okay. Ooh. Pestle has three small indentations adorning its top, arranged in a circular formation. Each socket appears to be waiting for something. Oh, it's the freaking. It's the freaking. Da, da, da. The knock of life, that's what it is. And it's out all the crap. I almost feel like I should probably you know what? let's let's save. Let's save. Let's let's save, Becky. Oh my god. Alright, let's get out of here and let's do this! Let's add the Kokiri Emerald and the freaking Gorons Ruby and the Zora's Sapphire. Is there anything else in here? Examine? Okay, well that says the same thing. I could tell because I have magic powers like that. Uh, this? Nope. Okay, let's go down here. I almost feel like we're getting to the end. You know what? Let's call it an episode here. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like if you already. My name's Chris. In the next episode, we will continue to explore the downstairs area. Are you prepared? I am not. Oh, I probably shouldn't use this one after. Bangkok's. Yay, I have a shield. Bye!